my name is Mai, and I'm excited to help you clean smarter with the Shark AI Robot Self Empty XL. This is Shark's smartest self empty robot that has the power to clean your whole home and the intelligence to deep clean targeted areas. Plus, it pairs with the easy to use Shark Clean app. To get started using the Shark AI Robot Self Empty XL, you will need to attach side brushes to your robot. Side brushes continuously spin while your robot cleans, pulling in dirt and debris from edges and corners with ease. To do so, flip over your robot on a flat surface and remove the side brushes from its packaging. Apply pressure on the side of the brushes on the left and right sides until you feel them lock into place on the posts. Now, when you begin cleaning, your spinning side brushes will do their job. The next step is properly setting up the true HEPA self-empty base. Not only does this base hold up to 60 days of dirt and debris, but it also includes advanced HEPA filtration to capture and lock 99.97% .97 of allergens. First, find a permanent location for the base in a central location of your home. The area should have a strong Wi-Fi signal so the robot can find its way home. Maintain three feet of free space on either side of the base and five feet in front of the base. Once you find the best area in your home, plug in the base. The base power indicator icon on the top right of the base will illuminate when the base has power. Make sure the power switch on the back of the base is on in the one or on position. Now that your self-empty base is set up, you can now charge your AI robot. All you need to do is align the back of your robot against the base, ensuring the metal contacts on the bottom of the robot are aligned with the base. When the robot is properly aligned with its back against the base, the charging icon on the top right side of the base will illuminate and the battery icon on the robot will turn on. Your robot will automatically turn on when it's docked on the base. For best results, Shark recommends charging your robot for six hours before its first cleaning run. Once your robot is fully charged, it's time to connect your robot to Wi-Fi and the Shark Clean app. You can download the Shark Clean app from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Once downloaded, create a Shark Clean account if you haven't already. And if you're like me and find certain apps difficult to set up and use, don't worry, Shark has made it so easy and I now use my app all the time to customize my clean. To get set up, you will be prompted to connect your robot to Wi-Fi. Follow the onboarding screens in the app and ensure you select yes when prompted with, is your robot a Shark AI self empty? Note, it is important to connect to a standard 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. You can always refer to the instruction booklet that comes with your robot for more information on connecting to Wi-Fi. Once your robot is connected to Wi-Fi, you will be able to unlock the full Shark Clean experience. Send your robot on an explore run to map your home. Once complete, you'll receive an interactive home map where you can further customize your clean. You can add no-go zones for areas you'd like the robot to avoid or high traffic zones for areas that tend to get dirtier. My kids always track in dirt from the backyard, so I set up a high traffic zone by my back door so my robot pays special attention to this area. I can even schedule my robot to clean my whole home on certain days of the week. Out of all the app features, my favorite is the ultra clean mode. I just select a room or a single spot and tap ultra clean. It has never been easier to target the really dirty areas that need on-demand cleanups. With the AI robot self-empty, Shark uses next generation intelligence to give you a smarter way to clean your home. Now you can truly forget about vacuuming and just enjoy more time in a clean home. If you're looking for more information on the Shark AI robot self-empty and other cleaning tips and tricks, visit us over at sharkclean.com. Hi, I'm Brittany and I'm excited to introduce you to the Shark AI Robot VacMop Pro. This is Shark's smartest wet and dry robot vacuum that adapts to your home while vacuuming and mopping. Plus, it pairs with the easy to use Shark Clean app. This innovative vacuum has two distinct cleaning modes, Vac Mode to vacuum your carpets and hard floors, and Vac Mop Mode, which simultaneously vacuums and wet mops your hard floors, including hard wood, tile, stone, and linoleum for a complete clean. Let's see how Vac Mop Mode works. 
To get started, attach the reusable microfiber mopping pad to the fluid reservoir. Your fluid reservoir comes with a reusable microfiber mopping pad already attached, but I'm going to show you how to take it off and put it back on for future use. To remove the pad, separate the Velcro from the back of the reservoir and use that tab to slide the pad off. To attach the pad to the fluid reservoir, slide it in the slot on the edge of the tank with your hand secure to the bottom of the reservoir and fold the tap over to the back. Once the microfiber mopping pad is secured to the fluid reservoir, fill the reservoir with the Shark Vac Mop Cleaning Solution or room temperature water to the max fill line. Shark recommends using the Vac Mop Cleaning Solution for a streak-free clean. It also leaves your home with a fresh, clean scent. You can find additional microfiber mopping pads and Shark Vac Mop Cleaning Solution in the starter kit that comes with your Shark AI Robot Vac Mop Pro. Once your fluid reservoir is filled to the max fill line, insert the dustbin into the back of the robot. This will hold all of the dirt and debris while your robot vacuums. Next, slide the fluid reservoir into the back of the robot with the dustbin already inserted. When secured, both slides will click into place. This attachment will apply constant agitating pressure to your floors while mopping. The fluid will dispense from here onto the pad and then onto your floors. Inserting the dustbin first and the fluid reservoir second is an important step in order to use vac mop mode. When you're ready to use vac mop mode, you will see two different indicators, one on your robot and one on your app telling you that your robot is properly set up. A white water droplet will appear on the top of the robot when the dustbin and fluid reservoir have been inserted correctly. The home screen of your Shark Clean app will update. If the fluid reservoir is properly inserted, you will see Mop as the command button to be pressed in order to begin mopping mode. Once the robot is off the dock and mopping, you'll see an option on your home screen to easily customize the modes to vacuum and mop. I have multiple types of hard floors in our home, so it's great that I have the option to choose between low, medium, and high flow levels, and I can adjust that to the type of mess that I'm cleaning up. Also, because of my parents' long-haired dog, it's great that I can adjust the vacuum suction to max when they've come to visit. If by chance you receive a dustbin error message on the Shark Clean app, don't panic. Check your robot to see if you've inserted the fluid reservoir without the dustbin. This error message is your robot telling you that your dustbin and fluid reservoir both need to be inserted to begin vacuuming and mopping. To turn off the error message, remove the fluid reservoir, reinsert the dustbin, and then reattach the fluid reservoir to the back of the robot. Make sure that both sides of the fluid reservoir click into place. Once reinserted, you're ready to use VacMop mode. With the AI Robot VacMop Pro, Shark's got all your vacuuming and mopping covered, hands-free. Looking for more cleaning tips? Visit us at sharkclean.com.